hello bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim today we are going to discuss uh, some very important terms regarding organic chemistry uh, stereospecificity and stereoselectivity or we can also say that stereospecific reactions and stereoselective reactions so um, what are stereospecific reactions uh, so first um, of all uh, stereospecific uh, reactions so stereospecific reactions or um, stereospecific reactions are those reactions in which a specific reactant will give rise to a specific uh, product so what does it mean it means that uh, we if we have a cis uh, reactant so it will always give rise to only one product and that product may be cis or it may be trans so we can say that that the stereochemical outcome of a stere uh, stereo specific reaction depend upon the stereochemistry of the reactant molecules or substrate uh, so simply we can say that, that the stereochemistry of the product will depend upon the stereochemistry of the reactant in stereospecific reactions. For example, if uh, uh, we have this substrate and uh, we want to carry it out a C2 reaction on this substrate, so this uh, cyanide group will attack this carbon and that mm, bromide ion will be removed one nucleophile come and another one will leave okay so uh, so uh, you know that that uh, the bromine is on the front side so cyanide will always attack on the back side uh, for cyanide there is only one way to attack at the back side so we can write here here uh, it is on the dashes line uh, so uh, when wherever or whenever you carried out this reaction you will get this one product and this product will be 100 percent firm for example if you carried out if you want to carry it out hydroboration so in a hydro in a hydroboration this uh, bh2 and hydrogen they will be added to the same side as you or as it is clear from this both added at the same side mean on the front side so and uh, both the hydrogen and the alkyl group they are on the back side so so whenever and wherever you carried out a hydro operation it will give you this uh, stereo specific uh, product so, so the outcome uh, of uh, this uh, reaction is you can say the says says product. So always, always you got a says product whenever you carried out the hydro operation. Now uh, let's talk about the serial selective reaction. Those reaction in which um, in which one possible stereo isomer is predominantly formed or uh, another there are two possibilities uh, of the product uh, so one is formed